And then we go on to Captain. Now, this is the way it starts getting fun. Exploration, Galaxy Class. Oh, it was a day, my day, when I got this. Uh, growing up with the next gen as a kid. Um, I'm not a massive fan of Kirk's era. I do like it, but not as much as I enjoyed uh, Picard, because Patrick Stewart, quite frankly, is my idol, and I think he's a fantastic actor, but that's by the by. So yes, the day I got this was fantastic. Um, I didn't. I had n no interest in the envoy. Absolutely none. If anything, it just looked like a oversized, crappy dildo. Sorry, yeah, m uh, my opinion. The celestial again. It just looks horrendous. That is not a good ship model. It's. I take the body of a galaxy class. I'm going to strap a. Uh, something to it and add something else to it and make it look horrible but you know yeah. the, you know I got that and I was happy with my engineer I, I, I just went yes there's just no way I'm not having this iconic ship at all so but then uh, on this character I'm gonna sh yeah they're fine I'm gonna show you the other two first the vigilant <laughs> it's nice don't be wrong I quite like it it's shapely it's, it's not perfect I wouldn't say it's the best best of the bunch but it's a nice design the gallant, um, yeah, I'd say it's retro, going back to uh, again Kirk Kirk era style ship, but you just pure, you just cannot beat that. Look at that! Anybody who watched Deep Space Nine, the day they saw the Defiant, I dare you, I, I I dare you show someone who watched Deep Space Nine didn't see that ship and fall in love, and I will show you a liar. It is out of all the Star Trek ships. I think it's the nicest. The design's fantastic. It's not even. It's not even the fact that it's. You, 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 it's not sleek. It's sleek enough. It's not. It's not a beautiful design. It just looks good. So enough about me raving about that. But it just looks good. Um, and then it's the same science vessel. I was quite surprised. They based it off Voyager, the Intrepid class. So you've got the Cochrane class, which is quite interesting. It's not. They're all follow the kind of same standards. I've been probably noticing this. The Cochrane class is quite nice. Um, it's interesting. I think it's mainly supposed to be. I mean, there's a bit about it here, but they don't really tell you the story behind the the others. But I think that's meant to look tougher. It's supposed to look harder. Uh, the Discovery. Um, I didn't get it. I still don't kind of don't get it. I don't understand this. This just makes no sense here. Um, but in in retrospect, if it was it's quite nice. If they'd done something better with the nacelles, I'd be happy. It's a decent ship, but you know, you've got your iconic Intrepid class, which is just pretty. It's just nice. It's again, it's another nice ship, but not. It's not to the same standard as the others. Okay, so now you've done all that, and you're like finally getting to your rear admiral. This is where it gets fun. Sovereign, which looks awesome. Tanks, awesome. Fantastic ship. Really nice. It's always of the out of all the Star Treks. Star Trek ships. It's the one that you're right. You'll think of the Enterprise D. You'll think of the A and everything, but they will never look as sleek or as awesome as that. You then get the Noble, which just looks like I don't know. It's aggressive. It's pure aggression. That it's it's a shorter, stumpier version of the Sovereign. More, you know, it just looks more aggressive. It's quite good in design. I it's it's not the best, but it's still quite cool. Now the Majestic. It's a lot like the um, the Excalibur in its design, um, but it looks it's solid. I like it. It's nice. It's it it it, it reeks of Star Trek. It's the proper. St it's another Star Trek ship. If if anything, it could pass as you know like a, a a nod to the Constitution, but it's not you know fantastic. Advanced Escort, this is Prometheus. So you've got the Prometheus from the episode of Voyager, you know, with you can get multi-vector assault mode on this as well, which is cool. Um, but it's not, um, I haven't unlocked that yet myself. Pretty decent um, design. It was, uh, I was always, I was excited when I saw it. Even though it, it literally just was a redesign of the Voyager model, but I was, I was dead excited when I saw it in the episode and on the here. The, um, the other version, Cerberus. <laughs> say what you will. I think it's, it, looks, it looks nice as it looks angry. It's Romulan. I think there's a Rom more Romulan to than Federation, but it's not bad. Um, 
it's I wouldn't never have it because obviously the Prometheus I like Prometheus more. Um, and the Phoenix just looks like a fat turd um, that literally someone might have squeezed out. So yeah, I wouldn't touch that with a badge, but look at it, my god. I think, look at that, take off the nacelles, and you've got like a slug. Not nice. Reconnaissance science vessel. Now this is, if you've any of you have read the continuation of Riker's career, Commander Riker that is, this is the, um, the Lunar class. Um, which is what he and Deanna Troy get as uh, their thing. And it's a, it is technically a science vessel. It's quite nice. I was quite surprised. Um, how I've, I've seen like images of it, but I've never seen it in in a model to be able to say whether I liked it or not. And it looks older. It looks like an older vessel. It doesn't have the the same ring as a sovereign. I thought they'd have a it'd be more sovereign like, but it's not. Um, but I'm not complaining. It's still quite nice. Uh, the Polaris version of it. Mm, just, it that looks more sovereignty, really. Um, sovereign with a constitution um, bridge, essentially. Not bad. Soul class. Yeah, it's just it, basically the same thing. Sovereign. It's kind of more, even more sovereignty, but um, it's it's still quite decent. I don't understand. This is a science pod. I guess um, there are other ships. I'm not going to show you them. I'm going to let you play this and have a look for yourself. Um, and then you finally get to Vice Admiral, which is where I want to get to eventually, which means you get all the shiny good things. You get the retrofits, which will, I'm going to ignore. Uh, you get the Dreadnought Cruiser, which I'm not going to ignore because everybody remembers uh, all good things. And I'm sorry, I, I don't know if the game has that big fa uh, big beam phaser as an option, but it still looks mean. It still looks mean to me. And it's still <laughs> like one of the best refits on a Star Trek I've ever seen. It's pretty awesome. Um, Odyssey Cruiser um, operations. You get three versions of it. You get the operations, the science, etc. It's a, just a one standard model that fits all classes, but you have to buy each one specifically. There you go. See. Um, refits. You'll get these as well. Multi vector escort. That's your Prometheus escort. Heavy escort carrier. That's the one I was showing you in the window earlier on. That's a retroverted, retroverted, uh, retroverted um, Akira with the ability to use fighters. Um, Aatrox carrier, don't have a clue what this is. But it's again, it's a fighter, fighter based ship, launches fighters. Salt cruiser refit, decent, multi mission. This, uh, this is the, this is one of the newer ones, the Vesta class, it's quite nice. Very sleek, big, big ass ship. Shamira heavy destroyer, this is where you get a starting game, the weird stuff. Um, Oh, wait a minute, have they got the... What I want is the... Um, yeah, the Olympus as well, you get that. Um, let's just get rid of the small craft and let's see if I can find what I really want. Science vessel. What I want, I, I really badly want it as well. Um, yeah. There is a, a non-advanced retrofit version of it, but I want this badly because... As much as I like the Define, I've always, always loved the Nebula. Um, don't ask me why. Loads of people have asked me why. I still don't know to this day why. I think it's because I used to have a bit of a thing for the Miranda. And this just makes the Miranda look even better. Really, it is. That's all it was. If you think about it, the Galaxy was a better version of a Constitution. And this is the better version of the Miranda class. And there's two versions of it. I don't know if you can get it in game, but you'll know f if you know anything about Star Trek from the episodes. One has this um, pod on the back, and the other one has a very similar one, but it's like the old school Miranda where it was just pylons holding it on rather than the the neck. But God, um, ne Nebula class. Ever you've watched End of Generations, and when that Nebula's banking away, I'm thinking, oh, I felt so I'm really sad now. But that that is that is me. I love the Nebula class. Um, I had a model of one once, but I broke it when I was younger. I was gutted. Um, but there you go. So th there you go. There's the ships and things. Um, I'm going to swap the characters over so you can get to see um, the um, sovereign. Not in action, but you'll, I'll, I'll basically beam in. You can see it, and I'll do one of the um, uh, earthbound. Uh, sorry, ground missions if I, if I get time. So um, I'll stop the recording and I'll be back, and we'll we'll review it in that way.